after that, Brother Randy's going to call us in a prayer. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please join me in prayer. Our most gracious Heavenly Father, as we come to you tonight, we thank you for the many blessings you've given us and for those we truly don't deserve. We thank you for this community, for our nation, where we can all live free. We can celebrate the, the birth of your son and commend him in our lives. We pray, dear God, also that you'll be with each representative here tonight, that we will express the wishes and desires of our community members. We pray for our guests, that uh, each one of them will continue to be blessed by you as well. We pray now, dear God, for uh, each person here. Just lead, guide, and direct us. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, have a seat. Everybody had time to look over the minutes from uh, the June meeting. Got a motion? Do I have a second? I'll second. Is there any other discussion? All in favor, seeing five saying aye. Aye. All opposed? No, that's right. Next, uh, the bills paid in June. Does anybody got any questions on the bill paid last month? So we need a motion to approve. I make a motion to approve the bills paid. I'll second. We got a motion and a second. Is there any other discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. All opposed? Ayes have it. Next, we got Chief Markham with our fire report. Terry informed me of his end calls last month by the county, but I can see and appreciate it, Terry. <laughs> oh, um, we start out by thanking the committee. Y'all treat me fair in the fire department. Thank Jimmy for helping me all he can. And I started my physical year off with a bang. I've already spent $10,000. Our, uh, our radio system went down. So the parts we had to have was going to cost us over five thousand dollars for another three thousand dollars. We went straight this time. So hopefully in the next two weeks we'll be up and running, and no more radio problems. Since the repair was totally down, we yes. played this in an um, emergency. So uh, we could we could talk but barely. Mm -hmm. And Mike said. One of these storms we've had, apparently lightning got it or something. Anyway, it has been damaged beyond repair. So, for another three thousand dollars, we went digital, which we should have done four and a half, five years ago, but we're there now. Oh, uh, I got to talk to Mr. Bob Dudley a couple of weeks ago. We had bump test, both bumpers passed, and I told him we was going to start looking for a new truck. He asked me what I wanted. Told him the same thing. We got sitting in the bay with the exception of a hose reel on the back. He said four hundred fifty thousand dollars if you had the money to pay for it today. Mm. Next year it goes up seventy five thousand dollars with a three and a half to four year wait period on the truck. That's on all of them. That's not just Pierce. Uh, that's any fire truck you order. And he said they're probably going to go up in price fifty, sixty thousand dollars every year for a while. Yeah. So we bought one at this right time, huh? Yep. But you still got one to go. You think we justify the name of another one? I this one, the uh, one sitting up yonder is twenty-two years old. Yeah. Fifteen years is max, according to state regulations. Yeah. So we're stretching it. I mean, it's still a frontline truck. But of course, state regulations is this supposed to be a second. It's not supposed to be a frontline truck. Yeah. Kevin, is the Pearson the brand to kind of go with? Is that like? Well, that's what this one down the new one is, okay. and that's what Bob Dudley sells. But he said it didn't matter what it was, you was going to look at four hundred fifty thousand dollars plus, and up to a three and a half four year wait period. Yeah. Hmm. What what makes it? What considers it a frontline truck? Sir? What considers it frontline truck? The age, uh, capability of what, you know, how much water it can bump in a minute's yeah. time, 
uh, as far as the pump service on Pumper 3, we have no problem with it. I mean, it's yeah. up to date but the date of the truck. <clears throat> like I said, the truck is uh, 22 years old, going on 23. And as far as I know, nothing has ever been done to it mechanically. Uh, I need to take the jacks and have the front end checked out. We need to have the rear end checked out. It's never had brakes put on. And it's 23 years old. Uh, transmission's never been touched. Mechanically, it has never had anything done to it. So we, we run out both bumpers and We can run out both bumpers and both in any fire. Yeah. Inside the seat of them, both bumpers supposed to hit the same no matter what. So, but we we try to use bumper three out the county as much as possible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So not to give anybody a headache for the whole the line, but you're looking at a half a million dollars plus yeah. in the future to buy the truck. Mm -hmm. Start looking at those grants. Yeah. Uh, Arnett and myself are going to try to set up a class. We're going to try to do it somewhere around the second week in August for all the first responders countywide, especially in the city of Milton. It's a one hour class, it's a free class for all the free fentanyl we can get our hands on. Won't cost us a dime. But you have to, have, you have to go through this class and get a certification on it to be able to get the fentanyl. And it's, uh, that's a growing deal within this county. Yes. It's something everybody needs to be able to get up to. Yeah. Yeah. No, sir, I think we might cover it. All right. Oh, uh, our landing pad. Yeah. <laughs> I keep getting bumped every other day about this landing pad, what we're yeah. doing and where we're at. And, but we'll have them back uh, asphalting and stuff with it apart. So I was kind of hoping to knock it out all at one time. So they was right. here paving reindeer, just, but we wasn't quite ready for it. So right. Right. By the time right. we get ready for it, do the asphalt for the walking trail for the park down there, then we can get that spot there too. Need, need to give me a couple weeks ahead of notice oh, yeah. we can get it laid yeah. out. We still got to get the dirt working on it. <laughs> still got Seemed like a long way to go. Uh, Y'all were talking about putting the soccer field up there. Is that correct? We were looking at the. Oh, Weighing their options there. What part of the field would that soccer field be? In? Yeah, close to the road. So I guess it'd be the north west corner of the property right there somewhere. The now reason I'm turning off the road. The place. reason I ask where that landing pad is set, oh, you need at least 150 to 200 foot clearance yeah, all the way around this thing. Yeah, yeah. So that would cover, you know, where y'all talking about putting the soccer field. Yeah, well, it was down by the equipment, though, wasn't it? Well, you're about halfway down that road, yeah. but, you know, you look at 200 foot this way or 100 foot this way and 100 foot that way, you know, you still take a pretty good area. Yeah. Oh. Is that much room to park? No. Well, right now, that's the only place I got to set up. That's where part of the problem is. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to say it's not going to be worth it because of the age of it uh, and the part that was messed up was this obsolete, can't even get it anymore. Hmm. So. <clears throat> I've been on 25 years and that's the same repeater I've you know, just been out there for 25 years and I know it was there long before I got on. Police report for report here. 219 complaints and activities, seven adult arrests, uh, one drug involved arrest, 18 traffic <coughs> violations, 27 traffic warnings, four motorist assists, seven vehicle lockout assists, 26 other public assists, uh, eight crash reports or accidents, six alarm calls, and 44 city assists, county assists, and that includes penal escorts. It looks like all vehicles are good. The uh, year-to-date citation revenue is $12,220. The year-to-date drug fund revenue is $1,187.50. And the year-to-date county fines are $199.50. Anybody have questions on any of that? Mike could help some of you. <laughs> I don't know. 
Uh, we'll see. Next, uh, I have the utility report. Looks like we had two meters installed, replaced, um, three water line repairs, Lincoln Drive, Willow Road, and Rose Lane. Uh, the TKE tank washout. That was to, uh, what were they going to come in? That's annual. Yeah. yeah they do it every other year, each tank. Wash right. it out, clean them out. 12 locates. Uh, one gas meter installed on Willow Road, no installation. And raised through manhole for paving on Rain Deer Street. But, uh, water loss is 0.491, total of 18,000 gallons out of 3,702,947 gallons. That's excellent. Yeah. I just want to point out also on the next sheet, I guess you're going to get yeah, well, yeah, the water loss for the year is 4.258% out of 41,434,536 gallons. Yeah, I don't know if I missed that or not. Yeah, we only had 1,842,963 gallons on the county for so. Over the course of the year, that's how much water leaked out of our aging water system. Like next on the agenda, we have the Civitan Club. We'd like to reserve the community center for the Crossroads Barbecue Battle on an annual basis beginning on the fourth Saturday of June each year. Y'all got anything y'all would like to say or ask or present to the board? Or does that sum it up? Or does that all <laughs> Short notice. I got a motion and a second. Is there any other discussion? 
All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. All opposed? Ayes have Thank y'all for coming. Thank if y'all if y'all do want to leave, you're more than welcome to now or you can sit in and stay for the meeting. No, I need to know. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get back to my mom. Uh, Y'all take care. Thank you, ladies. Thank you all. Y'all have a good night. Next, number eight. Zach Wilson was hired July 5th as part time at Public Works. Uh, reason why was, was our other utility employee has taken a fall. Um, in front of the community center and done some damage to his knee. Um, so right now we're just waiting. I mean, he's had x-rays and they said they did find some issues with his knee. So we're just kind of waiting it out right now. So he's off not been able to do, to do his job. So in lineage of that, we had to get somebody here to cut grass pretty quick because it was starting to get out of hand. Um, is there any objections to Zach Wilson working full time? It, you know, Jimmy Terry, how are y'all's interactions with him? I, I know the young man. I don't know. It's a learning curve. Yeah, he's young. He's young. He's very young. <laughs> <young. laughs> I don't know. But y'all. I think he's any Brian Wilson. Angie Mine was his mom. Okay. Who? Angie Mine and Brian Wilson. Oh. Okay. But, uh, no. He seems like a pretty good kid. I mean, he, he comes to work. Most part, <laughs> that's more than we can say about some. Shows up. Yeah. Brown. The old Bishop House. Ignore that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they seem okay or not? I do, because I don't, you know, Ford has to create full time positions. I can hire him, I had to hire him for a I had to hire somebody to get some. Well, yeah. Get some yeah, right, yeah. But, yeah. So, well, he's an at will employee. Yes. So, I went and we hired Zach Wilson. Okay. In a second. And as it progresses, if the other guy comes back, uh, his attendance wasn't very great. I could give you some exact figures on the first month. I mean, he had some decent excuses, but he's missed a lot of work. And he's already, like I said, he's hurt now, so we're, we're that's where we're at with it. But so I guess we're, we're, we're well, when he comes back, I mean, if he wants to come back to work, and if he can do the job, then more than likely. More than happy to have him back with the park stuff going on. We can start doing demolition at the park, and that extra set of hands could be valuable. Right. Um, so at that time, I'd like you know if y'all if y'all want to reconvene then about it being a full time position. But I, I feel like we can really use two people for now. You know, yeah. moving forward. Fair enough. So you know, and it's hard enough to keep one, let alone two. Yeah, I say if the three y'all are fine with it, I'm fine with it. So All right. So I got a motion and a second. Is there any other discussion? All in favor, season five saying aye. Aye. All opposed? Aye, sir. Bowen needs here. What was the time frame that the hire full time? When? Oh, when was the time? Yeah, you want. As soon as possible, man. Immediately? Yeah, man. Yeah, now it's fine. All right. Next, uh, Community Center Springs for COVID. As you may recall, the board fee added a fee of $25 in, uh, during COVID for the extra expense of spraying. With a reduction in COVID cases and the severity of the virus, does the board wish to discontinue the extra charge? The normal, the normal charge for the community center was just a flat fee of $300. Is that something you know, we need to continue doing? I'm good with deleting it. I'm fine with that. You need a motion for that? Yeah, it was. I move to delete the COVID spray fee of $25 for the community center. I would second. Is there any other discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. All opposed? The ayes have it. Would, would I be out of line to mention a $300 fee? I know it's not. Well, two, 100 of it is reimbursed. Reimbursed. Right. right, right. I know that. But when did, and I know it's been, it's been a while, but when did we increase it to 300 I don't remember because I don't know. It's been years ago. It's been a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what I was thinking. I think it's the first time I was on here, so. It's been a long time. No, at least eight years. Yeah, yeah. That just seems, and I know, I know it's, it's been a while, but that, that seems awfully high. Yeah. And I know they get $100 back, but that's. 
I would like for us to think about it if we could, and I'm just putting this out there. Well, I mean, the, the thing of it is, people go down there for two hours, they still got to pay 300, but you can't just, right. you just have to kind of set us. Right, right. And you know, across the day. board. Right. Like, I, I was thinking day. something like 200. But I mean, I mean people rent it. Yeah, so still at 300? Still, oh, yeah. They still, yes. They pretty much every weekend, all summer. Well, I mean, they don't, but I mean, they don't have like it. They don't pay them, okay. Fair enough then. Right, yeah, I understand that, but that's why I was saying 200 get 100 back, which would be 100. Yeah. I mean, we get a lot of people saying how nice it is that they have that big room and that they're ready okay. to get in. Okay. So, yeah, that's how it you saw that money for upgrades. Everybody knows cheap as I am. Probably. <laughs> 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 so we, 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 did budget. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we did budget for upgrades to the community center this year. Right. So, I mean, that that offset those expenses because I mean, there are people this year. Well, I knew. Sure. I mean, it's regularly cars down there. I knew that. Yeah. I thought that seemed kind of steep, but they're kind of than I am. All right, this next one, I wasn't sure uh, how to start off this conversation, but the employee compensation for this next year. How are y'all's thoughts or feelings on pay or pay raises for the fiscal year 24? Um, I've given a lot of raises in the last three years. I mean, a lot. And to the point where I'm wondering if, if I'm giving too many raises. Um, I mean, everybody always wants more money. But I'm, that's why I'm bringing it to the table because I'm kind of at a loss right now of what to do to be overall for the best outlook of the city because I've started hiring people in making more money. I mean, making $15, $15 an hour because that's what you got to do to get help so right now. To keep people. Yes, and that upsets the people that are currently here that they started at a lower rate under a different, you know, under a different regime or under a different, a different time in many years ago. So, um, I feel like the library is really underpaid, and we do have a few employees that are a little underpaid. And I don't know how to be fair about it without hurting people's feelings. I mean, ultimately, it's, it's what's best for the city, but I wanted to bring it to y'all to see y'all's thoughts on it. I think we need to give annual raises myself, whether it's merit based or cost of living or whatever because I, I, I would know I would hate to know and we did several years as teachers didn't get any raises and that's kind of a, a slap in the face I think it creates low morale myself so I, I personally am of the give a raise to those who are there and doing especially I say for your merit and longevity and situations such as that myself did we okay. ever, did we I'm sorry no, I was gonna say I, I want all of our employees to be making as much money as they are around so they won't feel like they're being less, treated less than. <clears throat> so how many times have I said this over and over? I really think everybody needs responsibilities. Maybe, uh, are y'all sick of hearing that? Okay. <laughs> like, I think Sam can do absolutely anything. But Sam's not given responsibility for whatever. So I would like to give him responsibility and rights. That's me. I think Sam can do anything. He can. I think. Don't you know he's smarter? He knows more than y'all think he does. I know that. 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 But if Sam has responsibility, and I, I'm assuming that Sam ownership of it, and maybe you feel a bit more pride in your work. I don't know. I want to give them raises, but I want people to. Am I making any sense what I'm saying? No, I understand. Okay. Well, maybe uh, we could get a uh, graph table by next month's meeting with how much everybody's making and what percentage raises. That would be good. Some examples of a couple different percentage raises. Did we ever did look at? Did we ever revisit the longevity pay like I was wanting to do? We, we talked about it, but we never really went any further with it. And I was wondering if anybody ever thought about that. Remind me what was said, because I'll be honest, I don't remember. Well, what I was looking at was, all right, obviously, us being in the situation we're in, we can't give raises every year. We want to. 
but just because the economy might be different, it might be smart money in there. We may not be able to give a 2% or whatever we want to do, but every year, if you've been here five years, you get maybe a hundred dollars. If you've been here every X amount of years, you get a certain amount of money on your anniversary date or on whenever, whenever your hire date is. It's because they do it in Jackson with us. Like we get, after five years, we get a hundred dollars. All right, after... Is that a one-time... Yes, it's a one-time-a-year thing. And then after we've been there, well, they've upped it, but after you've been there like three years, I mean, 10 years, you get 250. Then after you've been there 15 to 20, you get a little bit more like 500 or whatever. But I thought about maybe doing that to see at least maybe to give everybody something to look forward to every year. If they know that maybe on my own the higher date, they might get the hundred dollars in their paycheck or an extra check of a hundred dollars, something like that. It might not sting as bad as they don't get a raise or something. Well, that's kind of a different. Is that area. different? That's a different area than, than okay. salary than your. Okay. Well, I, I didn't know. That's like in bonus incentive. Yeah, I would like the bonus to me more so than salary. I, I would think here again. I'm like Bo. I would like to see, but I mean, from what I hear, we're doing well financially. I would pay for somebody not to get, and I'm, I'll say 2%, that may be insulting. I just, but I mean, I know like Terry, if I ever ask her a question, the answer is yeah. yeah. And I mean, she's here, she has a good rapport in the community. I would hate to not reward her. I'm just using her as an example. I hope it doesn't make Terry mad. But I mean, <laughs> you know, I just know, I say personally, what it's like to not get a raise, and I also know what it's like to get a raise. And it, that pat on the back, that little padding in the pocket makes you feel a lot better, I think. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, we had so many job titles. Right. I mean, we could all go somewhere and work. I could just go as a CMFO somewhere and make more than I do. I could go somewhere as a water operator and make more than I do. Right. I mean, kind of like Sam and Scotty. They know how they got all these trades that we don't have to hire people in. They know how to do them. Sam poured concrete in places the other day because he knows how to pour concrete. We didn't have to hire anybody to do that. And they, they want to pat on the back. They would do more if you pat it on the back. Or they, you know, She's they could leave and go somewhere and make some woman too much, much more money just doing natural gas only, nothing else. Well, is there is there a morale issue? I mean, I wasn't aware. Yes. There is? Yes. <laughs> I'm the only employee here saying this. I don't know how Jimmy feels, his morale, but our morale down. Mine's same as Scotty's. Okay. So, yes. Okay. Now, do you think money will help your morale go up? Not necessarily me on money. Yeah. See, I don't believe money brings your morale up. But it does to it some people. Yeah. No, it brings huh? it, it makes you feel It does. And two hats on the back, and we appreciate you and all you do, and, you know, instead of. Yeah. You know, have we looked at the job descriptions and gotten, you know, I think I've talked to you. Let's get the job descriptions out, look at them and say, hey, look here, Sam, looks like you're doing a little bit extra here. Are you happy doing this? Well, let's just see if you ain't so happy, let's see if we can find another way to work it out. No. I, I've never seen job descriptions. Y'all, where I came from, that was very important. Well, these are vague and very- They're very vague. So I don't even Not know to, They don't pertain to, to the jobs that they do. Then we, that's something that needs yeah. to be corrected. Because what my last job title, I don't even think that's the right well, title. Well, see, for the me. job description's not telling you what to do. The boys don't know what they're supposed to be doing. Correct. Right. Okay. Correct. Okay. okay. I'm not trying to be smart. No, no. I mean, okay. but, I mean, while we're in here, I mean, can the employees, I mean, what is the laws about employees sitting down with, do we have to do that in a meeting with the aldermen, or can we go just have a meeting after work someday, or how do we do that as employees? I don't think we can get together. There's nothing about the employees talking to us, is it? We can't talk, but they can But talk we can us. call a meeting and the employees just sit down and talk to us. Oh, right. 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 Yeah. 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 Well, it couldn't be multiple aldermen at a time. Right. right. Could, be, just could be two or more. Yes. We can do fact finding a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. I mean, because that's one thing, you know, you don't have meetings with your anybody and we're just all here and there and, you know, that, the morale's just down. 
I'm that far not knowing. I mean, because I'm supposed to be the utility director, but I'm not doing everything as a utility director because I'm more of a coordinator, not a director kind of. Because Scotty's the manager. You know what I'm saying? We, I mean, we can work together, but the job titles are not. Exactly. Well, that's, I love this idea of job descriptions. Let's get yeah. work. That's what I mean. It, it, yeah. I'll help do that. You know, I'll come up here and help do something. I won't make a decision about what the job is. Well, I hate to hear the morale. <laughs> but as far as myself, I'm going back to you multiple times, Terry. I, I oh, try, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. I try to make a point to tell you you're doing great. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, yeah. but recognition, you know, yeah. as far as I'm, you know, it's just, I wish Scotty and Sam were here to talk for themselves. So, that's my thing. We need to have more little meetings here and there. How are the employees doing? Well, they're you know we're not they're not involved or you know what I'm saying? Yes, ma'am. Well, well the one we want to start with guidelines for the. I like I, I like her idea of, of job titles, making sure we got a description of everything that we. That well, that doesn't fix pay raises. Well, I know that. that. I well, know that what, so what, what she said. They currently have titles that we're going to yeah. get raises to. <laughs> yeah. So, what are y'all's thoughts on? For centrates, for example, that we need to have when we get together for the next meeting. What, what did we do last year? I, I honestly don't remember. Five, I apologize for five that. last year. Five percent. Three the year before that. Do we know if the insurance is going up? Does the insurance go up in? Or is that? It, it will. See, so whatever the insurance goes up, then they need to have at least more. A little bit more compensated for the insurance going up. Well, Sam is Sam and Richie are the only two that pay oh. a portion of theirs. The city pays for everybody else. We don't know until like September what the insurance is going to be doing. Right. I mean, we bid it up whenever we rebid it back up. Let's see if we give them a percentage. I would like to see, I don't say a percentage, but I. I don't know what would, I mean, I don't have a problem with four or five percent, but I don't want to sound like I'm the one sitting here saying, but well, uh, why don't we do a graph with several percentages on that, maybe five, four, and three? So yeah, let's see where we're at. see how much that tallies out to. Right. Well, then I'll tell you how much they are to pay the people in the area. We can have that information if you would like. I I would, that well, we, we were behind that a few years ago, and I figure we're still behind because everybody's behind. Well, actually, I've heard Same a little line. different, but. Oh, all right, well. Yeah, but I don't know that for sure. I haven't seen it on paper. All right. So we are tabling the... Do we need something in the form of motion on that? I guess a motion to table it till the next meeting with pending further information. But, I, I mean, it's really not... I don't think you have to have a motion. Just table till the next meeting. We just don't have to go until yeah. the next meeting. All right. Next number 11, we got Thomas Thompson, account number 4 0825, filled her swimming pool and is asking for a sewer adjustment of $37.29. Have a motion for sewer adjustment, sir. I make a motion to adjust the sewer. We have a motion by Ann. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Sharon. Any other discussion? All in favor, seeing five saying aye. Aye. All opposed. Let's uh, have Dan Harder, account number 4 0400, filled their swimming pool and is asking for a sewer adjustment of $19.63. Do I have a motion to adjust? So moved. A motion by Randy. Second. Second by Sharon. Any other discussion? All in favor, seeing five saying aye. Aye. All opposed? Uh, let's have Parker Dale Cox, filled the swimming pool. Is asking for a sewer adjustment of eleven dollars and forty six cents on account number four dash one six two zero. Motion to adjust. I move to adjust uh, Parker Dale Cox by eleven forty six. A motion. Do I have a second? I have a second. Right, and any other discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. All opposed. Let's have it. Uh, we got bad debt. Jay Beatty, account number 3-0055-14, would use his $150 deposit toward his balance, leaving $39.13 to charge to bad debt. I have a motion to declare this bad debt. I move to declare that $39.13 bad debt. I have a motion to 
motion? Do I have a second? Second. Any other discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Uh -huh. All opposed? So let's have it. Public comment period for matters germane to items on the agenda. This is a new law. Oh, well, I would like to take my <laughs> pay or compensation for the July meeting and anything above that to buy the workers at City Hall a meal. Oh, no, 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 no. Food's a little way to make people happy. Does that sound? You want to do a beer cruise or something like that, Terry? If, if Miss Terry will be in charge of ordering and let me know what I owe different, and that way they got them a free meal and have it here at the community center, or not the community center, excuse me, City Hall. She might buy it for Jimmy, but Terry, let's <laughs> tell you this guy, you sing on whoever we need well, to. We can do it out of one of the, we just couldn't do it out of general fund, we can do it out of water, sir, or gas. I like that better for yeah. saving me money, but I'm going to do something kind of the pat on the back. I don't think something like that. It's not so much that, it's just talking. I mean, I, I answer to the board. Hard. Scotty answers to me, to the board. I mean, just, you know, if you see him or call him, you know, proud of you for doing this or, you know, appreciate this, what's going on. We just need a little bit more communication. With the board. Well, I'll be honest, I think Jimmy is the only one of y'all's numbers that I have. But we can remedy that. Or mm -hmm. every now and then, just sit down. Ask us how we feel. Hopefully, we still do the meal. I don't mean, we'll just eat them. I would like to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 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 If not, uh, you got your revenue and expense report. Is there anything else? I will make a motion to adjourn. You got a motion? Do I have a second? All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. All opposed? Aye. Right, pass. Thank y'all.